Hey, YouTube. So, um, we're doing some Elden Ring, and today I'm going to be doing a showcase of most of the spells in Elden Ring, um, showing off, uh, my, uh, showing them off and showing my thoughts about them. So what we're going to be doing is covering uh, most of the spells that you can cast with Intwiz. We're going to, to skip sk uh, spells with an arcane requirement. We're focusing on active combat spells, but we may mention a few others. It's not going to be 100% comprehensive, but it'll be pretty close. Um, I'm missing some final boss spells, and I might be missing a few other spells. Um, if they involved quests, um, that's going to be with a PVM focus, because I don't PvP much. My character has 99 ints and 99 faith. I don't have any talismans uh, that buff uh, particular spell types, apart from spell speed. Um, and uh, I have not beaten the game yet with this character, but I have done most things. I've skipped some weird plot options. Everything has been acquired honestly. There have been no cheats. Um, and I should note that I'm fairly I'm low to middling skill. I play Soul Slikes but not particularly well. I've beaten Elden Ring, I've beaten Dark Souls uh, 3. Uh, I enjoy Souls likes, but just I am not a su super amazing player. So there are a few things that we're gonna talk about with each of them. How cool looking is the spell? What's the range? What's the damage or strength of effect? Can it charge? How long does it take to cast? How long between successive casts? Can it chain cast with itself? Does it hit once or multiple times? Does it have hyper armor? Although that'll be a little bit undercovered. And how good is it at interrupting enemies or doing stuns? How many slots does it take? What's the MP cost like? And more broadly, how hard is it to use? What's it good for? Bosses, farming, adventuring. That's how, how we think about spells, and that's how we're gonna cover it. So first, let's, oh, oh, uh, well, First, let's clear our, our, our spell roster and show what we're going to be casting with. In one hand, I have a Prince of Death staff at plus 25. Um, with 99 int and faith, that gets me 448 scaling, which is probably pretty close to the maximum. In the other hand, I have Golden Order Seal at plus 10. That gives me 418 uh, scaling. And I just have a backup uh, weapon of a Frenzy Flame Perfume Bottle. You always should have a backup uh, weapon because generally most spells, whether they're sorceries or incantations, they take a little bit longer to cast. And if an enemy really gets close to you and they're, they do damage quickly, they can really mess you up. Okay, so th that's the criteria. Let's start going through. So, let's go through some basic stone, ugly stuff. going to start off with a basic glintstone pebble. This is what it looks like. In terms of fun, the spells are kind of boring. Uh, they're, they're, uh, it's a good sound effect, uh, and I guess it's, it has good utility. Um, but it's it's not that cool looking. It's not terrible. Um, the damage and strength of effect is pretty mild. Uh, of course, if you, if you get a good catalyst, you can bump it up to be But yeah, remember that my my character has. Charge is not charge. It's pretty quick to cast. Uh, the length of time between successive casts is pretty low, so you can uh, cast it pretty quickly. Um, uh, and I think this is a little bit of a great cast, so you can see alternating things. 
So I think that counts as chain casting. It only hits once, not multiple times. Uh, I don't think it has any hyper armor, or at least not very much. It's okay at interrupting enemies, but in terms of stuns, generally that's not going to happen. It takes one slot, has a fairly mild uh, MP cost. Uh, so it's just a generally, it's a good utility stun. It's, uh, it's not very uh, sorcerer. It's not going to uh, do a whole bunch of damage at once unless you really bump up to extreme levels, but it's a good utility. It'll get you there. It, it'll do what you need it to do. And uh, that's, that's what you get with Winston Pebble. Just reset things. Swift Glintstone at Glintstone uh, Shard. This just moves a little quicker. Takes slightly less MP. Does less damage. Uh, it is, yes, definitely faster, so this is catching itself. It wants. Um, this is a smart utility spell. It's not that different from the um, from what we just used. Use this one slot. I guess you probably don't need two slots. But yeah, it's, it's a generally good utility spell. It's maybe good to keep on hand if you do have enemies that like to be up close, because you can cast this a little faster. Uh, I think it has more or less the same range. Let's switch, switch, uh, switch to Great Glimpsing. Now this does more damage. And I don't think the range is really any different. No, it's, it's more or less the same range. It's more expensive. You can see that the bar is going down further. It's not a super fast projectile. It's not terrible. Um, I guess this is an alternative. I mean, these spells are really very similar to the spells. They're okay. Um, I don't think I use this one. I'd rather go with something cheaper. Uh, and I'll just cast it more times because you can see that this is not super slow either. It's not terrible. Um, it's okay. Flintstone Comet Shard. This one you can't charge, and yeah, we're getting one hit to the KOs with the charge cast. But it's, it's more on the slow uh, slow side. It still has good range. Let's uh, set back and uh, really test out that range. But yeah, the, these spells are all pretty similar to each other, except the, that they're all a little beefier. Faster, slower casting. See how far this is going. Not super far. Current to fast casting. It's actually not that bad. It's we are using Radagon's icon, but it's pretty good given that, and you probably will be using Radagon's icon, so it's a good choice. As for Comet, try that. This one is chargeable. Does quite a lot of damage. And it actually looks a little cooler. Still has a similarly bad game. But you're not going to that. Uh, it's not that bad for us. The problem is that that first cast is a little on the slow, slow side. But if you want to shoot a whole bunch of these out in sequence, it's not that bad. So it's decent. It's not something I generally use, but it's not bad. Let's move to Shirt Spiral. All that impressive. It's not just like that whole thing. It's not bad though. For bigger folks, you can often score multiple hits. Um, actually, for, for many folks, you can score multiple hits. It's not bad. But you're not going to do a lot of it. does hurt. Problem is it's 
damage. You have to be pretty patient, even with my stats. So I, I would avoid this, it's just not that good. Star Shower, let's reset the rows and uh, show that off. So that Star Shower, it's not bad, um, but again, this is a ridiculous character. Strike and Stone Art. Yep. Four range. Doesn't seem to charge. Really bad at bending up or down. I guess if you have a whole bunch of foes that are lined up, you grow or something like that. The damage on this one makes it not good. I would avoid this spell. It's just not very good. I mean, even with my stats, it's not good. And Crystal Barrage. Let's give this a shot. Dust charge. And it, uh, you can keep on shooting it for a pretty good time. Eventually, you hit the end of the, the length of the fire. And so that's the first set. Nothing exceptional there. Probably the Glintstone Pebble among those is the best. But uh, otherwise, I would just mostly avoid these things. So we ended with Crystal Barrage. Let's move on next. the line. So let's do the crystal burst, Kama, Cavill, Shadow Bird. Uh, that is an enchantment. We're not going to do that one. That's an enchantment. Uh, we'll just show off Starlight. It's, it's goofy. It's fine. Uh, we'll skip Terra Magica because it just enhances other spells. It's hard to really show it off. Uh, we'll just show Thopsis Barrier because it looks cool. We'll show Comet of Sword. Cool, so here we go. Crystal Burst. So now, how it is. It charges. Hands out. Damage is good. So, we go back. What happens if you really get close to something? All the damage you can hit, that is fine. But the range is fine. Thank you. 
this dude. So, I think it's actually pretty useful, but you have to really... SMP, but it's not bad. Pops is very good. This takes a lot of timing to use, but you can, if a foe is uh, attacking you and you use it, you can not worry too much about projectiles. It's decent. Uh, Combat Azur is kind of famous for being a boss melter, but you really have to build around it in order to successfully do it. Azor, yeah, Azor is a boss melter. You'll, you'll almost never want to use it outside of fighting bosses. But it is good at bosses. Uh, but you, you really want to build around it. Think about crystal tears, stuff like that. But if you do, you'll get good use out of it. You might also buff up just before you use it. Maybe use Terra Magica, other things. So, founding ring of stars. terribly expensive. It gives you a nice canopy. And you can put the cost of the number and pack the other stars and have it kind of busy. Is so awkward. 
easier than expected. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do this. Charge it. And then after a little bit, it sends a projectile which does okay damage. It is good for if you expect to be interrupted and still want to do some damage and maybe create some space with your next attack. Good play good, 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 trio. This is more or less the same thing. are all very similar. Um, you cast it, and you get these little guys up above you, and it's really great for if you're paying enough attention, and you're wondering if you're done. That's really one of the great things. Stun a little bit better. Magic down. Throw it up. And you can send out a little beam to the I don't know if there's supposed to be a better way to use this, but I've just never had to out of it. It does give you a way to kind of control an area, but it doesn't interrupt your enemies enough to really do very much for you. So I, I just avoid that one. It was a great one. This is a great utility spell for when you're doing dungeons. You don't really usually want to use it against bosses because it's too slow. skip that one. It, it doesn't have nearly the utility. Now, does it have the range? Let's find out. Can I get that? Magic 
Luchasaurus up to the Modulus Moon Blade. Cool. Let's do it. For now, let's flip full moon. this just because it's so expensive. So it comes up. But the range is not super amazing. It's not terrible. Uh, but it's, it's actually pretty good. It's just too expensive to, uh, to use, except possibly to start fights with some big dudes. Ronnie Starkman. damage. It's very similar. Um, so it's okay. And it looks like it looks really cool. That does work. It's, it's not an amazing spell. I think the MP cost kind of kills it for me. But it's not bad. And then you have Ronaldo's So this is hard to use. Mainly because it is really easy to run out of Because it strikes three times, but you can get interrupted between the second and the third really easily, and the third strike is what does most of the damage. So it's okay. It's it's not amazing. It's just too expensive. It's, uh, but if you really learn how to use it, it does great damage. Um, but I... I just find it too fiddly to use it properly. Now, Carrion Slicer, this is a nice spell. If you like to get close, it's very fast. The first cast is a little slower, but... The damage is quite nice. The nice thing is also the sword won't be interrupted by hitting the wall. Most handle weapons. This is a really good option. Also, the MP cost is really popular. If you have um, either an MP or a MP house, then it, it can be almost zero. It's a good spell. Carrying Slicer is fantastic. You might want, you could use this for anything. You could fight bosses with it. You could use it for regular adventuring. It's just it's good. Carrying Slicer is good. Carrying Greatsword. It's a little more awkward to use. Um, damage is good. But it's, it's a little on the slow side. This one is also a little more awkward. But it's still pretty good. It's not as good as its smaller cousin, though. Carrying Fiercer. To reset this thing again. Let's do the carrying piercer. This one just pokes straight ahead. So you notice that you're, you're supposed to get uh, pushed with it. So it's a lot of fun to push people off cliffs with it. The image is actually pretty good. So yeah, damage is good. Um, MP cost is it's moderate. It's not, not amazingly low, but it's not bad. You can use this as part of a really nice general build. The other nice thing is it tends to knock your foes over, and that's nice. So it's a good spell. It's not one I, I use super regularly, but uh, I you could really do do well to build around this. This moon blade. This. Or sends a little bit of uh, frost after, uh, after it. It's good. That is bad. It's, it's a bit on the expensive side. A little bit on the slow side. Uh, you can shoot. Uh, you can shoot. 
use that little bit of uh, frost forward. It's a nice use. This is more of a mostly for bosses. Calibration, we'll skip it because it's hard to show it off. I mean, just vanishing is actually cool enough that even though it's not really a combat spell, we're going to show it off. Uh, we'll just show off the, how this looks because I like how it looks. Okay, going up to Rekar Shrine 4. Miriam is vanishing. This is a short range teleport. rapidly in succession, so you have to be a little careful with it. It's not as good as a dodge, but it's pretty stylish. Ambush shard. Fun thing about this is that the projectile actually spawns distant from you and moves towards you, so it's great if you're fighting foes who have a shield. Although your character doesn't do the shield against uh, the attack so you have to just be careful with that. But it's it's... Situational, the damage isn't bad. For some reason, I don't think this is boosted by um, by the, the night buffing staff. But it's still, it's pretty fast. It's not, not terribly. Uh, it just it's a little on the uh, on the expensive side for the damage it does, but it's a good spell. Night shard. about this is that it makes very little noise, but it doesn't tend to work. It doesn't tend to work close very much. It's it's a nice cheap spell. Which is okay. So this is basically just an alternative to your blindstone pebble. And also I think Enemies don't tend to dodge this. So, yeah, it's, it's a good spell. Night Comet. This spell is awesome. We have a nice big chargeable spell. This is it. And if you go to it, this could be a ridiculous Downside, it's, it's a little on the slow side to cast, but it's. Uh, if you build around this, it is just excellent. Next up, Night uh, Maiden's Mist. I usually think about this as a utility spell. And you probably should too. And that you can... When you cast this, drop a little bit of Night Mist. It just get, does continual damage to foes in the area. stand inside it, you can easily kill yourself. So be careful with it. But the cool, the other cool thing about it, though, is that if you're on the edge of a cliff, you cast it, then it will drop down and create its mist um, when it hits solid ground. That is amazingly useful. But it, it's not... You'd have to be really, really good at positioning if you want to use this in the middle of combat. Um, because, uh, unless you're okay with uh, damaging yourself, which you might be. Eternal Darkness. This is good if enemies are casting lots of spells at you because they suck all that stuff up. And it looks cool. It is a very cool looking spell. Um, but it's very situational. Um, you'd have to be around uh, enemies that do a lot of spell casting at you. And. That's good for Raya Lucaria. It's not necessarily good for most other places. I think Elden Beast is another good example of an area where Eternal Darkness is a good choice. 
but most of the time it's not a good choice. Magma Shot. a little bit of lingering, but it's it's not amazing either. I'm not sure if I would really ever use this. It's, it's, you could use it. You could learn how to use this, but it really is not an easy spell to use. Uh, whirling next. This one, if you directly impact an enemy, it does not create anything on the ground. That's cool. The problem is it's a bit on the slow side. If you do that, it's pretty good. You can easily get the coverage of an area. It's just too complicated. It's not a very good spell in my view. So let's... I, I just, I don't see a lot of use for Rykar 24. Now we're getting into the ice cubes. Uh, what is this? This is frozen armament. armament. No, we're not going to do that, because that's my answer. We're getting some more crystal stuff in here. Just the weird way of this stuff. And it's hard to get into gravity. Stone ice break. Or, or ice crack. It does not charge. It has four range. Really poor range. And the damage. I, don't, I guess I guess for the for the MP process. You could actually use this as the foundation for a really nice ice cream. Um, even though the damage is kind of unimpressive. If you want to proc um, uh, ice on somebody, it's not that bad. Freezing Mist. This is another one of those mist spells. Except this one, you're not going to be able to hurt yourself. But the damage is pretty unimpressive. Manipulate uh, manipulate that status effect. It's good. 
but you really need to set up to use freezing mist. It's not something you casually slob in and it'll do a good job. See more ice storm. Now this one sends ice out all over you, or all around you. It's pretty cool. But either you have to do the easy to deal with them, They actually are kind of dangerous uh, if you're not paying attention. Anyhow, uh, yeah, the, the Zamor Ice Storm, you just have to be pretty um, pretty careful with how you use it. Not a bad spell. Um, but it takes a while to cast. Takes a little bit, little, a little bit of time to cast. Um, it feels good though, and it really. Uh, if you want to use uh, ice spells, you usually want to mix in a little bit of fire in there so that you can clear off the uh, frost on your foes and then reproc it. But the more ice storm does decent enough damage. It's so you could use it against a boss. You could use it against. Um, Cost really isn't that bad. It's pretty good. I should use this more. I, I have not historically used it, but it's a good spell, and I'm realizing that now. Now, ah, Shattering Crystal. Best out of this, you have to shoot it directly into your range of And it's a little on the expensive side. I guess if you have a whole bunch of foes closing in on you, it's pretty good, but otherwise I would avoid this one. Um, just it's a little too fiddly to use. Crystal Torrent. that you're really going to burn all your MP. So be careful with it, but it might be a good anti-boss spell. Crystal release. Yep, this is one of those spells where you really have to be standing right next to Okay, it's not amazing. I I just consider it. Plus it makes sense. It uses quite a lot of MP to, uh, to do what it does. I, I'd avoid it. It's just not good enough. Um it's, it's just not good enough. Okay, gravity well. The gravity spells are, are a lot of fun because you can reposition your mode. Stars. That is, is, is surprisingly good for what it does. 
damage is good. Range is good. Really good tracking. It's a good spot. Gravitational missile. damage, it's very flashy, uh, it's good at crowd control. Uh, you probably could use it against monsters. Um, but I suppose if you can if you can manage to get the time to cast it without getting getting beaten up, it's a good spell, but it, it's fiddly. But for regular adventuring, it's pretty good. Box Link. This thing is a workhorse. Um, really good at knocking. Uh, it does have an This is this is great. And the boss is with it. So it's nice on this is with it. I hardly recommend this boss. And the fact that it's so good at knocking down your foes, whether they're bosses or not, is also smashed up for salient. It just gives a lot of utility. Alongside the pretty decent damage, so yes, yeah, it's a good spell. Rock, uh, rock sling. Uh, rock sling is it, just you, you should use it. You should keep it in your loadout. I usually keep it in my loadout. Um, it also the damage it does. I think it's physical, so uh, there aren't too many foes that you have to worry about um, the flushing. So that's it's just it's a solidly useful spell. Hey, they just sell. Meteorites. Meteorite cell, which costs two. This is some finger stuff. And I do not have the stats for some of these. Okay, let's do Blaze of Stone. Blaze of Stone is kind of hard to use. Um, it's hard to make a hit. Because it has a minimum range. I never want to even try to use this on enemies that are good. Yeah, it strikes multiple times for enemies in the right uh, range. It's considered. It, the cost is also not unreasonable. So it's, it's a pretty good spot. Just remember that you, you have to swap out if your enemy closes with you. But it's a pretty good damage spell. You can fight bosses with it. I recommend it. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's more of an anti-boss spell than anything else. And you do have to be careful about elevation and stuff. Because it easily gets caught and then won't do anything. Meteorite. So I, 
I don't recommend this spell. It's just it's too hard to get it. Now it's good for fighting big bosses. If you want to fight dragons, it's a good spell for that. But otherwise, it's just pretty useless and you should avoid it. Let's stop now. Fantastic tracking. He's at range. Looks okay. And it's extremely cheap. So this is a good spell for general utility. Um, it's a good spell uh, for really fast foes. Because each of the each of those little hops will correct the angle that your uh, enemy has moved. It's still possible for it to not go far enough. But in general, it's a reliable really utility attack spell. So, use it. It's pretty good. Probably better than a lot of the glintstone pebbles and stuff like that. And you have glintstone nails. This is the rule. You shoot multiple nails. They all head off together to do their thing. Range is similar. Might be a little bit of a glintstone nail. The nice thing about this is that it easily knocks your foes down. The bad thing about it is that it's a bit on the expensive side. But you can keep on uh, keep casting it. So if you, uh, if you really want to knock down your foes, you can keep uh, casting it while each uh, of the prior waves is heading towards your foes. So that's pretty good. It, so it's situational. Um, it's just, it's a little on the expensive side, so I don't tend to use it for daily, regular adventures, but otherwise it's pretty good. Leading Microcosm. This is one of my favorite spells. It looks really cool. And it's a little bit like that. Uh, a little bit like Gravitational Missile, but just much better. Fire it, and it goes back to its maximum range of range or your fellow. The little explosion is not big. The other thing is probably not big. The side map is hard to do. You don't really need to do that damage. You just need to do that. This, I think, is what is in my other thing. It's a solidly useful spell. A little on the expensive side, but you can manage it because it's just so darn effective. Um, I don't tend to use it against bosses though because it's a little on the expensive side. Cherishing fingers. This has two uses. You can either either directly shoot it or somebody shoot the projectile. Fingers will block the projectile. It's not so slow that it's not going to be easy. And if you don't charge it, it's still attack. It still does have a quick damage if you don't charge it. It's nice that you actually get fingers in all directions. tends to knock your foes over. One of the nicer ways to do it too, because you also get the possibility of damage. So if somebody's closing in and firing projectiles, which may, maybe they really only tend to do one or the other, but it gives you a lot of versatility. And full of thorns. This thing is mostly useless. You get really close to foes, and they melee you, and they take damage too. But you do some damage to yourself. I would just avoid it. I think you get a little bit of armor from this spell, but it's just, it's not worth it. Avoid. Okay, what's after Mantle of Thorns? We have... 
kind of thorns, French football, GF crackers, blah. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Okay, that gets us through all the sorceries. Let's do impenetrable thorns. This used to be bugged. And it used to be way too hard. But, that's a kind of hard to use. That's a little bit dangerous to you. But you never want to ask this to get close to what you're supposed to do. Because it usually will, uh, will manage not to hit you. It's not bad, but again, you have to accept it when it takes a damage. this because it requires, it has both an int and a wis requirement, but if you don't build yourself that way, it's not a as some if you can just fire and forget, fire and Pretty good. Um, problem is, you often have better options. Expecting this to stop them from coming at you, it probably won't. Next, explosive ghost flame. If you get surrounded, good way to, to 
deal with people surrounding you. So, pretty good. A little bit unpredictable because you don't know where those flames are going to land, but you can deal with that. Next, Tibia's Summons. This spell, some people say it's bad. But so long as you target your foes, it's actually not that bad. It has actually pretty good range. It's not terribly expensive, and it's not it's not that bad that uh, uh, interrupting your foes. So I actually kind of like it. It's a weird spell. But uh, but I, I think its reputation for being terrible is overrated. Although you do not want to use it without lock on. So you need to go without lock on. You need to have that lock on. Also, if you're supposed to walk out of it, as you can see, it really just depends on it. You need to control positioning. But it's otherwise not a bad spell. Nice of the present. In terms of regular adventure, even it might be decent at bosses too. It's not a bad spell. Vortrex, vortex of putrescence. This one shoots stuff up into the air. Very bad. That's everything in this set, and now I believe we are going to move on to incantations. And vortex, and we move on to the heal spells. These are all just good for fighting revenants and undead. Uh, we're going to skip them. We're, we're not going. Uh, well, we'll show ones. Otherwise, yeah, at least 
this is a cheating. Shut up, man.
So Bloom, uh, it's good for starting fights, it's not good for continuing them. So yeah, you, using it uh, in regular adventuring, don't use it against bosses, because uh, it's just a little not too friendly. And a shadow. It's both decent. The range is Switch to it, but you can't. You can't do most of your fighting with this spell. Elden stars. I think we're all kind of familiar with this from fighting the Elden Beast, but.
you might use Elven Stars to start fights. You're not going to use it to uh, to continue past that initial low, and it's you, you have better options. I'd avoid it. Black Blade. This has excellent range. It's good for uh, clearing big mobs. It's a little on the expensive side, but it's just generally an absolutely solid spell. It's, it's great. And uh, the, the way that it saps the health of your foes, fantastic. I believe it does holy damage, though, so a lot of foes will resist it. But it's still a, uh, a good choice. Discus of Light. So don't underestimate that because if you're uh, fighting a foe with a shield, the return shot usually won't hit the shield. So if you just spam these things, very occasionally you'll um, you'll stance break uh, an enemy with this, but don't count on it. But yeah, it's it's one of the, one of your workhorses. It's probably one of the things that you should just always keep in your loadout. Because of its low cost and high, high utility. Uh, spot. 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 I do not be casting as fast as we want to. Triple rings of light. It's not bad, but it's a little on the This is mainly something that you're going to use. Fighting bosses. It does have that burn in it. Uh, not all the discus spells do. So that's cool. And it, it's actually not that bad either. So it's just, it's a generally useful spell. It's a generally useful for fighting bosses, does good damage. It's good. I think you get it pretty late in the game. use it against bosses if they're annoying, if they jump around you too much and are hard to hit. But it's mainly good for uh, for clearing out um, dungeons. Okay, so 
So that's right against Prince of Light. Let's move on to multi layer frame. enemy motion and attacks. So you can often keep your, uh, your foes still with this thing. Even if it's moderately good dudes, they might not ever be able to reach you because they'll be interrupted by But this, this, it's not really an area clearing spell, even though it can hit more than one foe. It's more a stun medium to big uh, foes type thing. You sometimes can stun bosses. But this spell is really aimed towards going after medium-sized dudes. Let me a proper death. Something you're gonna to want to do otherwise. Law of regression, I just think looks cool. But it's a cool looking uh, spell, so I just wanted to show that off. Okay, let's do it. enough, high damaging enough spell to be a workhorse. It's stronger than a glimstone pebble and a little more expensive, but it's just going to be a regular, uh, a regular spell to keep in your loadout if you're in incantation. Knight's Light This one you're probably going to go after medium size It actually is not as good as your regular lightning spear against foes in water because it doesn't produce nearly as big of a uh, electrical f effect in the water. Um, so yeah, uh, the regular lightning spear is your regular do everything thing. You can fight bosses with it. You can fight regular foes. This is more of a medium-sized do to not uh, type spell. Lightning strike. Somewhat awkward, but not, not too bad. Um, lightning spark. Doesn't keep you all the door. 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 Doesn't keep It's decent. Um, I don't tend to use it because the range is not really good enough for me. And I don't have to tell you about it on the doors or not. But it's not a bad spell. Uh, uh, restart. And for home belt, uh, bolt, you have Dragon's Lightning Spear. Very Send out these, uh, these uh, 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 I would avoid if you're fighting very good people. Because otherwise you... Terrible. 
terrible, but it's, it's not good. Two dragons light next to it. Now this is a fun spell. Send us out. Texas Lightning Spear. I like it. I like it a lot. Frozen, frozen lightning spear.
actually a bigger version of, of before. rapidly as a catch flame, so I'd skip this one. Um choice for that. It's not your only choice, but it's pretty good. Next, we have... Two. I love the flash, but I, I don't enjoy the fiddliness. Next, Sergio Flame. It's not a good choice. Rule of flame.
well, you could probably get some use out of it, but I don't think it's it's good enough to be worth that. Flame time speed is just your status fiction spell. It does a little bit of damage to you, clears off poison and scarlet rot, and frostbite. So that's really useful. It's one of the better utility spells in the game. I recommend doing it if you if you're an encamp user. Uh, even, if, even if you're not, the requirements on it are low enough that you can probably cast it in now. Fire's Deadly Sin. This one, as you set yourself and everything around you, switched out of the game. That sometimes happens for some reason. I'm not sure why it happens. Anyway, um, yeah, you just have better options than you do this quicker. So I, I avoid this just because of that slowness. It's nice that it can do the tracking. If you expect to need to do a lot of rolling, you can launch it, then do all the rolling you have to do, and then pick up later. But I just don't find that useful. Rain of Fire. See how this thing does. If I remember right. out of it if you really learn it.
it's you can avoid damage that way. Uh, so yeah, I, I recommend it. It's a pity it takes two slots, but caring about slots is maybe a little overrated. Put these slots in there, you're gonna spend way too much.
so it's good against bosses, it's okay in regular adventuring, a little on the expensive side, good for sniping. I like it. It's, it's a good spell. Next we have... what the damage looks like. Uh, 
it doesn't, you don't get a lot of control over when it stops. So you gotta be careful about that. It's otherwise not too bad. of that, but it's still a very fiddly effect that you're trying to make use of. Now, Frenzy Burst, this... here with this spell. But yeah, if they're essentially a human model, I believe this is the spell where you grab them and look into their eyes and give them a bad day. Sax 
Texas Rune. Uh, this is a fairly... Stylish, but it's not that good. Next, old narcs. I love using it. It's, it's so 
disagree with any of these things it's not I, I'm not ranking them um, because I think they're good for different things but I, uh, I I'm hoping that this was at least interesting to a few people anyhow that's what I got and uh, we're gonna wrap things up so bye bye Ho uh, hopefully this was interesting to some people if not uh, sorry for wasting your time bye bye